So what I'm working on right now is developing a biosensor for arsenic. In Nepal, Bangladesh, India, all over South and Southeast Asia, the problem of arsenic contamination in household wells is a massive health problem. Approximately 100 million people are at risk of poisoning from arsenic, and there's at the moment no real good way to test for it. So what we're doing is using synthetic biology to develop this kind of test. And so for the future, it means that people in those regions can have information about the safety and quality of their water, and then can have access to clean water, which will help them and their children. Well, frankly, the best headline would be that all water sanitation and water projects in the region have stopped because there's no need for them anymore. That would be the ideal. For my test, the test that my team is developing, to be so effective and used so widely that the issue of water sanitation and water safety is no longer an issue. The difficulty, the major challenge that we're facing is in integrating it into arsenic mitigation programs, water sanitation programs that already exist and to raise awareness about the issue and that this is a way to solve it by developing a sensor that's appropriate to the community's needs. The social dimension of water quality is extremely complex. It's related to issues of class, gender, race, religion. And so despite us being a synthetic biology innovation, we have to fit in within a much wider social ecosystem. And so I think that by providing people with information and options about water, which is the fundamental of everything, will be able to work towards improving things like social justice and poverty in those regions as well.